So we had the Trim Slice here at Embedded World 2011. And this is a super compact uh, Tegra 2 desktop, desktop computer. computer. Yes, that's right. It's full. Everything's there. Yes. This is this is uh, uh, the Trim the Trim the, the Trim Slice is a desktop uh, and a desktop system built around the Tegra the Nvidia Tegra 2 uh, CPU. So it has two HDMI? Yes, the system provides uh, HDMI with full, full HD capabilities, DVI, D for, for secondary, for dual head display, gigabit Ethernet, two, two USBs on the back, two USBs on the front, audio out, stereo audio output, audio in. SPDIF output is also embedded here on this connector. SPDIF? Yes, 5.1 5 SPDIF output. Okay. This is the power connector for 12 volt uh, power supply. What is this? This is uh, the connector for wireless antenna for Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Okay. On the front, we have additional two USB ports, SD socket for, uh, for uh, removable uh, SD storage. A serial port, this is an RS-232 serial port here, over uh -huh. here, and the micro USB for USB device port. To connect to a computer as a device? Yeah. A slave? Well, yeah. Yes, as a slave, as a storage device um, or for Android application development. So here's the specs there. And uh, So what, when does this project start and when are you, you going to be shipping this? How soon can it be available? We will start receiving orders for the Trim Slice in April, so in about four, four or five weeks. Four or five weeks? Yes. Did you show this before? Uh, well, it's the first time we're showing first it on, show on a it. trade show. Yes. Yeah. We, we made an announcement in, in the press about uh, uh, a month ago, Yeah. but this is the first time the Trim Slice is on a trade show. Nice. And uh, you also have a version with a hard disk. Yes. Uh, the, the thin version. Yeah. Incorporates an SSD uh, SSD storage inside. Yeah. Now we will also offer a thicker version, which will have a hard a bay for a 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. Nice. Is it exactly the same otherwise? Yes. Yes. And, uh, so how much RAM do you have? One 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 gig of RAM. And uh, so on the SD card. Here, for example, you don't put the OS, right? You transfer the. Where do you store the OS? Well, there are several configurations that the Dream Slice can be used in that respect. Yeah. Uh, there is also an internal, an internal micro SD uh, socket. On only on that one or both? On both. On both. Yeah. It's not. It's not in this. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Mock up. The, uh, no, yeah, yeah. This is a. Yeah. Uh, it's not on this mock up. Yeah. But uh, it's on both versions, and it, was, it features a security lock. So uh, this is actual uh, an, ex an internal SD storage that can be securely locked into the device. So what do you do on the, uh, the micro SD? You put the OS. So yes. Yeah, so you, you you can put the OS on the micro on the micro SD uh, for higher. Cap for, for higher cap storage capacity, you can use the, the internal SSD drive. How much? How many gigs? Uh, 30, we will ship it with 32 gigs. 32 gigabytes? Yes. And for really high uh, storage requirements, there is the hard drive version. All right. So basically, on the, on the you could like just, uh, if you want to upgrade the OS or change the OS, you just put a new SD card, you turn it on, that's it. Uh, just put yes. in the new one. Yes. Well, we actually, we intend to provide the... Uh, an updating mechanism that will allow it to update the DIOS from the removable SD storage it makes more sense. So, what kind of OS are you running on here? In terms of OS, we're going to launch the product with uh, Linux and Ubuntu 10.10, .10, and, uh, and we will we're going to add uh, support for Android Honeycomb. Uh, later on, on a later, later stage. Do you think Honeycomb would be uh, super awesome for a device without touchscreen? It's going to be good for laptops, desktops? What uh, do you think? I think that yes, I think that it can work with uh, mouse, keyboard, uh, input devices and that uh, 
it, it is... Uh, the web browser in Honeycomb is as good as Chrome. Yes. Yeah? And Chrome OS? Are you going to work on that? Uh, well, we can, we'll consider it will become available. Yeah. So, what is the target price? Right now, here we're the embedded world and it's industrial kind of a, a, a marketplace or trade show. Yes. Uh, so, this is industrial kind of, right? Uh, not not only we will yeah. we will offer it uh, uh, in retail with the direct sales uh, via the internet through PayPal. It will also be available on Amazon and through a network of distributors that we have in Europe and the U.S. Uh, the starting price for for retail for the basic configuration will be two hundred and fifty dollars uh, and. Well, the, 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 the hard drive configuration will probably be $300, $350. Okay. And, uh, the volume, for volume, uh, for high volume, uh, the pricing is going to be below $200. Below $200 for large volume? Yeah. All right. And uh, so in the summer, right? You're ready. When it's ready to ship? This is, this, uh, this is going to ship in the uh, uh, end of April. End of April? Yes. That's uh, only one month and a half? Yes. All right. And uh, so, are you going to provide all that software? Is there going to be a community for that? Can people like... Uh, well, we, we, we take a very open, uh, open software approach with the Dream Slice and actually all of our products on one hand. So, we will, uh, we will provide the software as an well, the software for the Dream Slice is going to be an open com community project, and uh, <clears throat> the the Dream Slice is going to be supported in the mainline kernel, starting from 2.26.39. Uh, okay. Uh, and it's uh, uh, additionally we consider the Dream Slice to be a very attractive uh, software development platform for. Uh, both application development and kernel development because of the uh, the rich IO, the internal, the, the, the large internal storage, the uh, serial port. Uh, there is also an, ext uh, an extension designed specifically for software development that adds, uh, uh, allows access to JTAG and uh, additional URTs and a SPI port. And uh, we hope to get the trim slice uh, as an as actually we consider it the best ARM ba ARM development uh, software development platform currently available. And could be the best uh, ARM powered uh, desktop as well. Well, yes. That anybody because, could buy. Well, I think that we are pretty much the first. So yeah. hope to be the best. So you're the first, and uh, what if? Uh, what if the idea eventually is that the ARM-powered laptop, or desktop, I mean, is supposed to be ch much cheaper than uh, Intel, right? Could be, but only when it's big volumes, right? Is that a vision you have? Do you have a vision where you could sell like 10 million and then the price is less than 100, or? Well, we surely, we surely hope to get there. Yeah. Uh, currently, it's too, too early to say. Okay. Cool. Okay. Thanks for that.